you for listening to PoliticalStorm.com. I'm John Small. Today, we're going to be visiting with a, a young presidential pundit. We've got a, a young man by the name of Walker Haber. He's 13. He'll be an eighth grader this year in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And first of all, let's say hello to Walker. Walker, how are you, buddy? I'm good. Uh, now, you've got a couple of apps that you've created that have gotten quite a bit of attention, haven't you? Yeah. My horror one has gotten a lot of attention. The, now, you're, is it is it officially called Never Hillary? Is that the official title of the app? Well, the official title of the app is Never Hillary Clinton. Okay. Somebody already took Never Hillary. We just added the Clinton at the end. So never Hillary Clinton. Now let's talk about what happens if I go into my app store and I purchase the. Is, do I purchase it or is it free? It costs ninety nine cents. We had to choose between it costing money or there being a lot of ads, and we decided to make it cost money because the ads just made it so every time you played it, it would be this awesome moment, but then an ad would pop up and it would ruin all of the moment. There you go. I agree completely. And ninety nine cents is not much, is it? And, and that's really cool. Now, uh, Never Hillary Clinton is one of the apps. Now, what is the other app that you have there, hey, uh, Walker? So I made an Ask Trump app because all the work was already put in to the, from the Hillary app. All I had to do was put Trump's face on there and Trump's quotes in there. So that one is called Ask Trump? Ask Donald Trump. Ask Donald Trump. Okay. So we'll make sure we're sending people to the right place. And when they get on there and they find these, what what, are, what happens with these apps? Let's talk about the Never Hillary Clinton app first. What happens when I get that app? What what does the app do? Well, so it opens a picture of the White House and you click start. And then it will zoom into a window of the White House. And it's like a whack-a-mole game <laughs> where you have to tap her face. And every time you tap her face, she says one of her silly quotes. So every time you tap Hillary's face in one of the windows in the White House, she says a silly quote? Yeah. Make sure you turn on the volume, too. Yeah, you want your volume on. Now, how long did it take to put this together? You're, first of all, we got to remind people, you're 13 years old, so it's not like you're a you know a college student. You're, you're going to be in eighth grade this year. How long did it put this together, and, and how in the world did you make this happen? The Hillary one took me a year and a half, and I'll tell you the story. Um, so I originally started with my dad. I was... In Haiti with my parents, my dad was talking to these Haitian kids saying, you can do anything now, like you can, with Google, like you could build an app. A beach is just as good as a boardroom because building an app, you can use Google to figure out how to build it, and then it's easy to sell because you can sell an app over the whole summer. But at the end of the day, the app still looked like a 12-year-old and a Haitian built the app. <laughs> That's cool. So, using Fiverr, I took the app I already had and made it 100 times better. That's awesome. So you got some, some graphics done through that. and Now, all of the audio clips, did you did you find those clips, or where did those come from? Yeah. Um, the audio clips, I would have to watch an hour and an hour and a half long speeches and find, like, one to two good quotes, funny quotes in there, and take the hour-long speech and clip it up into those two quotes. And most of the time, the quotes would get cut because my parents didn't think it was funny, and they were like, that's not going to be well in the <laughs> That's awesome. Again, visiting with Walker Haber. He's 13 years young, lives in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and he created an app called the Never Hillary Clinton app, and then there's another one that's the Ask Donald Trump app. Uh, we're, we're kind of visiting about the Never Hillary Clinton app right now. So you had to watch like an hour and a half long speech to come up with two little quotes, and then some of those didn't even they didn't even make it, huh? Yeah, in context they were really funny, but out of context they were completely not funny. Okay, well that's really cool that you had help from mom and dad, and you had help from your friends, and and now when you were put when you were putting all of this stuff together, did you think it was going to be really successful? Were you kind of hoping it was, or, or did you just think this was going to be a fun project to do over the summer? Well, it started as a fun project, and I was hoping it would be successful. But I didn't really think it was going to be successful. And when it had this much success, it was awesome. That is very cool. 
Now, it's 99 cents in the App Store, and you said that when you clicked on there the other day, it was in like the top five. Is that right? Yep. So you, you've you sold a couple of these then, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. We don't know how many exactly we've sold because Apple is several days behind, up to a week behind on how many we've sold. So all we know is that we were in the top five, and we don't know how many we've sold yet. Well, that is really, really cool. So, Walker, if you make a bunch of money with this app, what are you going to do with that? Are you going to put it towards a college fund, or what are your plans when, you, when you're when you done? Um, I just wanted to do something nice for my mom. Oh. My mom does a lot of nice things for other people, and I thought it's time that somebody did something nice for her. Well, that's really nice. Now, the Never Hillary Clinton app and the Ask Donald Trump app, do you know which one is selling more right now? Do you have more people buying the Never Hillary Clinton or the Ask Donald Trump? Never Hillary Clinton by far, because I was on Rush Limbaugh talking about that one, and we put way more time in Never Hillary Clinton, and Donald Trump just took, we basically called the fiber guy and said, hey, we got, we, we found some quotes from Donald Trump. Yeah, we got 250 quotes from Donald Trump. And some pictures, could you make an app? And he said, yeah, that'd be really easy because I already know what you guys want in these apps. And so he was able to make that really quick. Very, very nice. So let's talk about your visit with with Rush Limbaugh. There are a lot of people that listen to this program that probably love Rush, and there's probably some that listen that don't like Rush at all. But either way, whether they love him or hate him, you had a chance to visit with Rush on his program uh, what was that like when you when you called in and talked to Rush Limbaugh? So I called, just that day I called 270 times <laughs> to get through to Rush. And then I had to wait on hold for an hour and a half until Rush, or Mr. Snurley, his producer, thought it was appropriate. Well, you know, 270 times you called to get through, it proves that persistence pays off. Also, the fact that you're 13 years old, and you came up with this idea, and you've got this Never Hillary Clinton app and also a Don, an Ask Donald Trump app, and these things are selling right now in the app stores. Uh, that, that is an entrepreneurial story that I just think is a great story. Walker, i got to tell you, and I'm sure you've heard this a lot lately, but I am very proud of you, young man. Thank you. That, that is really cool. What I want to have by the end of the summer is my teacher... During this past year, he tried to teach my class that communism and socialism are the best forms of government. Oh, wow. And I stood up in the middle of class, and I told him that he was wrong, and I told him why he was wrong. But he pretended like he couldn't hear me. Oh. So what I want to do is I want to come back at the end of the summer with a successful app to show him that anybody of any age can use the free market to their advantage. Exactly. That's cool. My, my wife is giving you a thumbs up over here, too. She can hear you. She, she's, she's agreeing with everything you're saying. Capitalism is a good, a good system, isn't it? Yes. Well, Walker, like I said, very proud of you. Walker Haber is our guest today. He's the creator of the Never Hillary Clinton app and the Ask Donald Trump app, and he's only 13 years young, again, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So you live right where we used to live. Uh, that, that's a great little place to, to live. And you're going to be an eighth grader this year. Are you excited to go back to school? Yeah. And, and the best part yeah, is probably... Can't wait to see my teacher. <laughs> I can't wait to see the teacher. Awesome. Well, Walker, thank you again for chatting with me, buddy, and I'll let you get back to enjoying your summer, all right? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Walker. Again, Walker Haber, and he's got the app. It's called Never Hillary Clinton, and he's got another one called Ask Donald Trump, and I'll put a link on both of those right in our podcast, so you'll be able to find those very, very easily. And uh, the podcast is under politicalstorm.com. So if you're listening to this on the radio and you're saying, now, where in the world do I find that? We'll also have a link on our Facebook page. We'll make it easy. So, again, Walker Haber, age 13, eighth grader. That is pretty darn cool right there. Thank you so much for listening to politicalstorm.com. I'm John Small.